traditionally is seen as something that's owned and operated by the state, but increasingly we're also understanding public services that can be operated through community associations, labor groups, uh, partnerships between communities and labor groups and the state, different levels of the state uh, operating together. In my opinion, it, what it does not include is the private sector, the for-profit private sector. The remunicipalization refers to the fact that they, they were once public uh, and then they became private and now now we're going back into uh, municipal hands. And it usually refers to the local government, a municipality, but the same kind of process can happen with a regional government or a national government. I think the private companies have decided that it's very risky to operate in, in low-income countries. Um, and they, they pulled out in a lot of places, but uh, they also recognize that there's a lot of money to be made uh, around the world. So they're very clever now about targeting uh, sections of water services that they know they can make profits in. So wealthy neighborhoods, industry, uh, and, and looking for short-term contracts and, and other things. So the, the, the privatization is still out there, it's just it's changed in its nature. Um, but the resurgence uh, and the building of a pro-public movement is also very strong. And so I think we're at a, I wouldn't say a turning point because it's not really clear where it's going to head, but we're certainly in a much more interesting and dynamic point than we were 20 years ago where everything was about pro-privatization and very little pro-public. And, and now the, uh, the situation is, is, is much more complicated and, and I think much more exciting in terms of, of the potential for, for uh, renewing public services. Um, but it's also important to think about the kind of public you want. Just because it's owned by a municipality doesn't mean it's going to be a good public serv a good service. We need to talk about the, the, the character of that uh, public entity and, and what their management ethos is, how they engage with, with citizens, the, the quality of the service they're providing. So it gets back to your first question, uh, you know, the notion of public is it's not just black and white. Uh, there's a lot of gray areas about the quality of public and the ki kind of public we want. So it's important to have that conversation as well.